Hey guys, uh, this is Marcus, and uh, I'm going to show you my method of strapping arms. So what I've got is I've got an elbow pad uh, glued in here, and what it does is is use four layers of contact cement on the elbow pad so that it's uh, so that all the holes in the fabric are filled, and you use three contact layers of contact cement for whatever you feel like on the elbow pad. Then you're going to put your elbow you're going to put your you can put your elbow pad on this is the trace I was talking about you can see it, it's pretty nice and thin it's very soft and flexible it's quite comfortable I usually like to cut them half out because I don't like anything in the crook of my elbow like this I find it leaves me pinching bruises armor bites and such but anyway you're gonna you're gonna contact cement this so you can put this in like this you trace it around where the you, you'll trace the line here wherever your wherever your um, bosom band ends and then you're not going to put anything past that any contact cement past that line so it doesn't show uh, these are a pair of orange ones that I've had forever that I ordered somehow for a, a custom client and I got two pairs and so orange is really a freaking weird color but that's what he wanted anyway once you get that in there you're going to place your elbow like this and you're going to get this so it's it's a tacky so you can still adjust it. You're gonna put it like this. You're gonna adjust it down so that your elbow fits in there. Basically, this would be different, but so your elbow fits comfortably. So whatever, wherever it needs to be, that's where you're gonna want your elbow in. I prefer that point of the elbow right there. Then you're gonna take it off like this, and you're gonna you're gonna keep it so you have the fit, so it stays it. Then you're gonna push the elbow into this into the socket. And effectively, by having your elbow in this socket, every time you strain your elbow, because it's at this, at this, at this, it's going to center right there again. So you probably don't have to wear, they're so light, you probably don't have to wear uh, straps on the inside. I find any strap on the inside like this, once you go like that, it's gonna, you can get armor bites, it's really uncomfortable, it doesn't let you completely, I have a very tight uh, bicep to forearm. So, like, I get all sorts of armor bites in there when I do that. And when I come back all the way up to here like this, there's there's my arm getting bitten. Anyway, that's kind of the way I, I do it. Here's my fan brace uh, elbow pad rear brace. So basically, this is just like the super hinge. Uh, it doesn't look that great, you know. It doesn't look that bad, but it doesn't look that great compared to like different systems. But this allows the elbow to float around, allows all sorts of bend. Every time, I, I, I only use these straps to hold my arms in place. The other thing that actually holds my arms in place is the left. Is, is, my, is my gauntlets. And so what my gauntlets are, my gauntlets tight enough that it literally like this there's no way it can come down any farther the other thing is is my gauntlet act, this actually fits right there and won't come over it won't really go any farther than especially when I have a sword or shield in my hand it won't get any farther than that so it just locks up like this it's nicely padded doesn't bounce I mean this is like three quarters of a pound or something like that it's, it's super light and so you don't really know you have it on your arm it's it's right there this is my shield arm of course but that's that's all it is. That's that's how I that's how I hold it in is with contact cement and the pads. These are kind of old and worn. So once they get old and worn, you can just sew them down like this if you want them tight again. But there's no I don't get armor bites anymore after, since I don't have it strap across there. I guess that's it. Um, if you have any more questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Uh, so like on Marks, his his padding stops right here. If, if the elbow continues over the padding, uh, just cut the padding back. And uh, if you want to, you can cut the padding back, uh, take a little bit of foam out, and just contact cement the padding down to the elbow. Contact cement and titanium works fantastic together. Uh, the, titanium, the contact cement does not come off the titanium. Anyway, that's, that's approximately what it looked like. And that, that, would, be, that would be your complete, complete arm, uh, elbow and van brace or bottom on. Just that. Take care, guys.